Veterinary Internal Medicine. The Causes, Diagnosis, Treatment and Prevention of Feline Lower Urinary Tract Disease. This video is based on the AVMA Client Catalog. Feline Lower Urinary Tract Disease. Feline Lower Urinary Tract Disease describes a variety of conditions that affect the bladder and urethra of cats. Cats with urinary tract disease most often show signs of difficulty and pain when urinating, increased frequency of urination, and blood in the urine. Cats with urinary tract disease also tend to lick themselves excessively and may urinate outside the litter box, often on cool, smooth surfaces like a tile floor or a bathtub. Kindly subscribe the veterinary channel if you love your pets. While urinary tract disease can occur at any age, it is usually seen in middle-aged, overweight cats that get little exercise, use an indoor litter box, have little or no outdoor access, or eat a dry diet. Factors such as emotional or environment stress, multi-cat households, and abrupt changes in daily routine may also increase the risk that a cat will develop urinary tract disease. Major signs of feline lower urinary tract disease include Straining to urinate, urinating small amounts, frequent and or prolonged attempts to urinate Crying out while urinating, excessive licking of the genital area Urinating outside the litter box, blood in the urine Note that cats with a urethral obstruction, a blockage in the urethra, which is the tube that carries urine from the bladder and out of the body, will also show these signs but will pass little or no urine and become increasingly distressed. Urethral obstruction is seen more often in males than female cats do their longer, narrow urethra. A urethral obstruction is an emergency and requires immediate veterinary treatment. How is urinary tract disease diagnosed? Because urinary tract disease has many causes, it can be difficult to diagnose. Based on your cat's symptoms, your veterinarian will do a physical examination and most likely will run a urinalysis assessing urine pH and concentration and presence of crystals, bleeding, inflammation and infection. If the cause is still not identified, tests such as urine culture, x-rays, blood work and additional urine tests may be recommended. What are the causes of urinary tract disease? Urolithiasis, urinary stones. Factors such as emotional or environment stress, multi-cat households, and abrupt changes in daily routine may also increase the risk that a cat will develop urinary tract disease. One possible cause of urinary tract disease is the formation of urinary stones, also called uroliths, in the bladder and or urethra. These are collections of minerals that form in the urinary tract of cats. X-rays or ultrasound are usually needed to diagnose urinary stones. The most commonly seen uroliths are calcium oxalate and struvite magnesium ammonium phosphate. While a special, stone-dissolving diet can be prescribed to dissolve struvite stones, calcium oxalate stones need to be removed surgically. If the diet fails, or if the stones form again, then surgery may also be necessary for struvite stones. In female cats, it may also be possible for a veterinarian to help a cat pass stones by flushing its bladder with sterile fluids or remove small stones directly from the bladder using a cystoscope when the cat is under anesthesia. A veterinarian may then recommend medication or dietary changes after surgery to help prevent recurrence. Urinary Infection Infection of your cat's urinary tract with bacteria, fungi, parasites or possibly even viruses can cause signs of urinary tract disease. Although bacterial infections are more common than fungal, parasitic or viral infections, they are still relatively uncommon in cats. If an infection is found, your veterinarian will probably look for another disease or problem that may have put your cat at risk of infection. 
For example, urolits and diabetes can increase the risk of urinary tract infection. In younger cats, bladder infections are a cause of urinary tract disease less than 5% of the time because the acid content and concentration of their urine prevents infection. Diseases such as kidney disease and diabetes are more common in cats older than 10 years of age, and alter the acidity and concentration of the urine, as a result, these cats are at higher risk of infection. Urinary tract infection is a relatively common cause of urinary tract disease in older cats, followed by urolis. The treatment for urinary infections often depends on the severity of the infection and the organism causing the infection, and may include fluid therapy, urinary acidifiers, and or antibiotics. Urethral obstruction. The most serious problem associated with urinary function is when a cat's urethra becomes partly or totally blocked. These cats strain to urinate and produce little or no urine. It can appear that the cat is constipated and straining to pass stool, but straining in the litter box is more often a sign of urethral obstruction. Urethral obstruction is a potentially life-threatening condition caused either by urethral stones or by urethral plugs the latter are made of a soft material containing minerals, cells, and mucus-like protein. Cats with urethral obstruction must receive immediate veterinary care. Male cats neutered or intact, are at greater risk for urethral obstruction than females because their urethra is longer and narrower. This is a true medical emergency, and any cat suspected of suffering from this condition must receive immediate veterinary attention. Once the urethra becomes completely blocked, the kidneys are no longer able to remove toxins from the blood or maintain a balance of fluids and electrolytes in the body. Without treatment, death frequently occurs when these imbalances lead to heart failure, often in less than 24 to 48 hours. Treatment of this condition involves dislodging the obstruction, usually accomplished by flushing a sterile solution through a narrow tube placed into the urethra. Once the obstruction is removed, further treatment depends upon the condition of the cat. Dehydration and electrolyte imbalances are treated with intravenous fluid therapy. Antibiotics may be given to prevent or treat infection, and drugs that help restore bladder function are sometimes recommended. For cats who continue to experience urethral obstruction despite medical treatment, there is a surgical procedure called a perineal urethrostomy. Since side effects of this surgery can include bleeding, narrowing at the surgical site, urinary incontinence, and a greater incidence of urinary tract infection, it is usually considered only as a last resort. Feline idiopathic cystitis. Feline idiopathic cystitis, also called interstitial cystitis, is the most common diagnosis in cats less than 10 years of age with lower urinary tract disease. The disease is not fully understood and may involve several body systems in addition to the urinary system. Feline idiopathic cystitis is a diagnosis of exclusion, meaning that it is a diagnosis made after all diseases that might cause similar signs are ruled out. There is no specific diagnostic test for feline idiopathic cystitis. Stress and diet changes can increase the risk of feline idiopathic cystitis. As many as 40 to 50 percent of cats will have another episode of cystitis within one year, but veterinarians cannot predict which cats will have relapses. The disease can be chronic and very frustrating for the cat, the owner, and the veterinarian. The current goals of treating cats with feline idiopathic cystitis are to decrease the severity and frequency of episodes. There are numerous medical treatments that result in variable degrees of success but often the veterinarian will start by addressing any behavioral issues. This may include feeding only canned food and reduction of stress. Other causes. Diseases such as diabetes and hyperthyroidism can cause lower urinary tract disease in cats. 
Although they are much less common causes, urinary tract disease can also be caused by tumors of the urinary tract, congenital abnormalities, or injury to the urinary tract or spinal cord. What can I do at home to prevent future occurrences of urinary tract disease? Depending on the underlying cause for urinary tract disease, the clinical signs may never, or only occasionally, reoccur. However, recurrence is more common with feline idiopathic cystitis. To help reduce the chances of recurrence, feed small meals on a frequent basis. Consult with your veterinarian about the best diet for your cat. Many commercial diets are acceptable, but some urinary conditions respond better to specialized diets. Canned food may be preferred. Provide clean, fresh water at all times. Provide an adequate number of litter boxes, usually one more than the number of cats in the household with the type of litter that the cats prefer. Keep litter boxes in quiet, safe areas of the house. Keep litter boxes clean, they should be scooped twice a day and the litter changed weekly, or more often as needed. Minimize major changes in routine and reduce stress. Dr. Jose Fenech Veterinary Channel. Dr. M. Sacklin Mancha Vet Video Library. In this presentation we are going to discuss a very common cat disease known as feline lower urinary tract disease. When your cat stops using the litter box one of the possible culprits is urinary tract disease. The three most important factors in the development of feline lower urinary tract disease are, a multiple cat household, feline emotional stress and feline environmental stress. A urinary tract infection can result in a cat with urethral obstruction, a cat with urethral plugs, and a cat with urethral stones. Heart failure can be due to urethral obstruction in cats. There are drugs to restore bladder function in cats. Perineal urethrostomy in cats is a surgical procedure available for the treatment of frequent episodes of lower urinary tract disease. Feline idiopathic cystitis is synonymous with feline interstitial cystitis. This presentation has been a collaboration between the Veterinary Channel and the Vet Video Library. Veterinary Internal Medicine The Causes, Diagnosis, Treatment and Prevention of Feline Lower Urinary Tract Disease